So last year when I did the roof, it was a year before, uh, might have been two years ago, when I did the roof over the porch and connected it to our sunroom, where the roofs met, they are both at about the same slope. And I was worried about that seam. I was worried that water would come over and then get down in and leak there and cause damage. And so I overlapped it with a 10 inch piece and it wasn't enough. So then I overlapped it with another 10 inch, but you're overlapping. So it only get, got another five inches or so. And that still was not enough. It helped, but it still was not enough. So then I was at the point, do I take it all off, take all that aluminum off and run a two foot wide piece down through out of my coil stock? I was using the salvage. And that definitely was an option. But I kept thinking there should be another option, and I finally thought of it. I don't know why I didn't think of it earlier, but that is to cut wedges. So I have a nice wide two-inch hemlock here, and I'm cutting wedges at about a 16 degrees, which turns out is about a four pitch or four slope, so four inches for 12 feet. Because a 12 by 12 would be 45 degrees. So half of that is 22 and a half for a, for a 6. And then down from there I figured out that it's about 16 degrees for a 4 pitch. So if I put two of them, let's say this is where the seam is. So we have the asphalt shingles here. We have the aluminum here. This one's pitched a little bit away, so I'm pretty sure the water's coming from the asphalt. But why not do both? So I'll slide this underneath the asphalt shingles, so the asphalt shingles will have to come up here. The aluminum will come up here, and then we'll put a cap on it. So any water coming down through, it would have to go uphill. It would have to wick uphill quite a bit to get to that seam. So it's really the same concept as metal roofing has ridges in. And where the ridges overlap, the reason it can't come over is because of that ridge. Now it's pretty steep. I'm not doing one that steep. But, but they're not much higher than this either though, as far as the height. I didn't use that as the reasoning, but it makes it is about that height, the ridges, a little bit steeper so in normal rains this wasn't happening but if you have long long rains like all day rains or let's say you have snow over here and it's kind of slushy so the water's not just running down through it tends to wick over more okay so I'm going to finish cutting I need about four sets to do the one ridge and then we'll go up and we'll put them in. So we'll do a video on that. But basically I'm building a ridge where two roofs connect. That's the concept. Okay, let's cut some more. I'm cutting one side and then the other side. Putting the saw straight. Then cutting that one off and then cutting this one off. So I just did the slope on this one. Now I'm going to do the slope on this one right here. Then I'll straighten up my blade and take them both off. So I'll get two. Each rip I'm getting two now.